Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. This week I am playing with a Scenic Pumpkin Patch stamp set. And uh, I just really love the endless possibilities with a stamp set. You can create some really cute little uh, pumpkin patch scenes or you can use the pumpkins by themselves. Um, I will have two other uh, videos here on YouTube. So if you're looking for more ideas, make sure you check them out. And there will be a free PDF with the measurements and the uh, supplies for this tutorial over on my blog. Now, Scenic Pumpkin Patch is just images. So I've pulled in the Simply Said. I'm using Happy Birthday. And I also wanted to use Trucking Along. Um, Trucking Along is an online exclusive that unfortunately is sold out. However, the punch is still available and the stamp set is available in um, I believe it's French, so if you wanted just the images, you can still get that. You could also make this truck just by punching out cardstock. All right, so let's start by making our little scene. I'm using these dies also, this one right here. These are called the gar uh, Garden Meadow dies, and the Garden Meadow dies are also on online exclusive. We're going to use it in a little bit on another piece, but I've already cut out a piece of basic white for our stamping. I've got two blending brushes and I'm gonna open up Crumb Cake and Boho Blue. I'm gonna do my blending first and then do my stamping. So Boho Blue, we're gonna do mostly on the top and I'm gonna go around the edge. I don't want it to be too dark, so I'm staying around the edge first and then I'll just kind of go across. We just want a light blue, but I do like how the, the edges are a darker blue. All right, and then we'll do the same thing with crumb cake. Let's see, crumb cake isn't a dark color, really, unless your ink pad is really juicy, so just give it a try. And I want to go up about two-thirds of the way, so I'm gonna go up a little bit more like that. All right, let's come down here and add a little bit more. All right, I think that's good. Now, what I have found with the stamping for this is to start at the top and work your way down. So I'm gonna start with my trees and I'm gonna stamp them in pecan pie and then I'm gonna stamp off right next to it so I have some lighter color trees. All right, so I'm gonna do that over here and then in the middle like that. And then if you want some more light, even lighter, you can stamp off a couple of times on your scratch paper and stamp like that. All right, now for the pumpkins. And I do have to tell you guys, the first time I stamped these pumpkins, they stamped upside down. And they didn't look upside down to me. The only way I knew they were upside down is when I went, oops, that's the wrong color, is when I went to stamp these stems. So, let me clean that. What I recommend you doing is to stamp your stems first up on your scratch paper and then get your pumpkins. And see, see, I would, I would tend to stamp them like that, but I, but I believe they go like that to line up with those stems, okay? So play around with it on your grid paper so that you don't, get, you don't make a mistake like I did. So I'm just gonna stamp them a few times, kind of here and there, up and down. I don't want them to be like equally in a perfect line because we know they wouldn't be in a, at a pumpkin patch for sure. They wouldn't be all perfect. All right, so we've got that. Um, then we'll get those, those stems, and I'm gonna stamp those in pecan pie. You definitely wanna use your grid paper, your scratch paper, so that you don't get ink all over your desk. And one more right there. All right, and then we have this other, I guess you would call it like a ground stamp, and I don't know if it's, if it's really necessary, but I think I'm just gonna do just a little bit of a kind of a ground like that. And you, you wanna stamp off when you do it so that you get not too much, too dark of a light. Too dark of a light? That doesn't make sense. Too dark of an image. And you can just kind of go like that. All right, so there's our little pumpkin patch field. Now let's stamp our truck. And I'm gonna stamp the outline in Memento and the inside in Boho Blue. All right, 
Now you can decide which one you wanna do first. I've done it both ways. You can do the outline first and then the color on the inside or you can do the color first and then do the outline. I'm not sure, I think that I prefer to do it this way. I've tried it both ways and it seems to do better like this. So there's the tires, but that's a personal preference. Play around with your image and see which way you get a better lined up. If you have a stamp positioning tool, of course, that would be your best bet. All right, there we go. Now, let me bring that black back over. There's a little stamp in here that says Farm Fresh that's just really cute. There we go. All right, and there is a little piece that goes on the back of the truck, a little, I don't know what you call it, little fence, little boards on the back. And the punch doesn't punch those out, but I'm gonna show you how you can attach them, hopefully. Okay, good, I was making sure I wasn't gonna punch it up here. All right, so punch out your truck. And then get your paper snips, which mine are right here, and just go around like this. And you wanna kinda of leave it long there like that. And then you can take your adhesive and just set it right down on there like that. All right, very cute. All right, and then the last thing we're gonna stamp is the sentiment. I have cut out a um, basic white banner from the Hearts and Hugs dies. We're gonna stamp happy birthday right there in pumpkin pie. And we'll move all of this out of the way so that we can now do our embossing and our cutting. I have a piece of, our card base is gonna be boho blue. And then I have this boho blue piece, four by five and a fourth. And I'm gonna cut it out, put this same frame right in the middle, like that. Cut that out and you can save, this time we're not using the inside part. We're using the outside part. Maybe put that on the inside of your card, you could. All right, now for the embossing, we're gonna remove all the plates except for plate one. I've got the Forever Plaid embossing folder, and we're gonna put our embossing, or our cardstock right there. Okay. And we'll run it through, just put plate four on top. Let's see if I can get that off of there. Now we're ready to piece our card together. All right, starting with a four by five and a fourth inch piece of boho blue cardstock. I have a, no, actually it's four and a fourth by 11 where we folded it in half. So now it's the same size as our, our Country Lace Designer Series paper, four by, no, four and a fourth <laughs> by five and a half. That's why I type up a PDF, because I can never remember the measurements off the top of my head. All right, so that's gonna completely cover your card base. That way it'll peek out behind this little frame that we've made. And we're gonna just put a dimensional in each corner. Like that. And then get a few more dimensionals. And we're gonna put our little scene, our pumpkin scene, right there in the middle. Like that. Kind of get that to sit down underneath it. There we go. And then our little truck. Two more dimensionals. Put that kind of up like that. And then our sentiment, you got it, two more dimensionals. And we're gonna put that right there. We'll put it underneath. 
There we go. And then last but not least, I've got some navy linen thread that will feed through here like this. And just tie kind of up towards the top corner up there like that. And snip, snip, and there you go. Now I did do something on the inside. I didn't get the pieces for that, but four by five and a fourth inch basic white, a little strip of that same designer series paper and stamp a few pumpkins along the edge. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this card. Uh, let me know if you have questions. Make sure you get that free PDF off my blog and have fun stamping. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.